Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a military bun. Some of the items that you'll need are, of course, the sock bun. You can either use a synthetic bun like this, or you can use an old sock that you don't use anymore. Cut off the tip, roll it up so it's a donut like this. You'll need some hair ties, two of them. Hair conditioner. A hair tie if you have short hair. If you don't have short hair, then you don't need this. Hairspray or some pomade. A brush. And I like to use another brush like this. It has like the super coarse bristles. That way it really catches the hair and that way it really slicks it back. All right guys, so if you wanna learn how to make a military bun, go ahead and keep watching. And don't forget to like the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't wanna miss a video with me, go ahead and hit the bell button as well. All right guys, so I just washed my hair and with this hairstyle, I like, I personally like to do it while it's damp and not wet. If it's like dripping wet, then the longer you have your hair in the bun, the more itchy it makes your scalp and that's no good. And it kind of stinks, so you want to just avoid that. Um, but before I even do anything after I made sure my hair is nice and damp, I go in with my spray conditioner and I just got this at the BX, I'm sure Walmart or your wherever you get your hair products would have it. I also go in with a cream um, hair conditioner. That way it just keeps in the moisturizer, moisture because this hairstyle really breaks your hair. It's really damaging, so we just wanna prevent that too, so. All right, so I'm going to spray this first and then go in with the cream. All right guys, so I just put in the hair conditioner and after I put in the hair conditioner to prevent more damage, I usually like to brush it out, so. And that way, you know, you're evening out the air, hair conditioner as well. All right. And to part my hair, I usually have a comb that's has a little slick end, but today I'm just gonna use some tweezers because that's all of that, all that I found. And I usually like to do it from from right to left, but you can do it either way. You can part it whatever, whichever way you're more comfortable with. And I have this scar that's right here that helps me get that perfect straight line boom I love it I love that nice and crisp line through the through the side and at this point you just like to comb it out some more helps as you're brushing hold it in a ponytail that way you don't have to worry about it being like grabbing it into a ponytail sorry if you guys don't see me looking at the camera I'm looking at the mirror right behind you all right now that I have pretty much the foundation of how I want my hair to look. I'll grab one of the hair ties 
and just tie it off just like you know putting up putting your hair in a ponytail and I usually like to make it a little bit looser because as it dries it tends to pull on your hair so you want to make sure when you're putting it wet or damp do it a little bit looser than you would do dry and grab one of the thick bristle and just slick it back <laughs> look at that I love it I love this part because you can see the transformation from this to this like look at that shine you know what I'm saying I do this for work every morning so I've gone pretty fast at it but you know if I got extra time I like to finesse it a little bit more and just make it extra slick because let me tell you one time actually when I got to my first base and you know I was walking around base and I was walking to my shop and I saw this I won't say the rank or anything like that but I saw this person and their hair looked it looked like they just like rolled out of bed I'm not even joking and, and not that I'm judging because you know she might have you know she might have kids and she didn't have time to do her hair but it was like at that second I turned to my wingman and I was just like all right I'm never gonna have my hair like that my goal till I retire is to have perfectly slick back hair and so that's my goal and so after I like to even it out I'll take my hairspray um, you can use gel or anything like that and just go like this rub it all on your hands and just slick it back and make sure to get really get these edges go back in with the comb and at this point you can see in the ponytail where it's you made it even and there's bumps but have no fear just take out the take out the hair hair tie take the thick bristle brush and just comb it out that's all and just comb it out while you you have your hand still still holding the ponytail And once you're satisfied with it, you know, it feels, it feels like it's slick. Go ahead and just tie it back. I usually do one, two. All right. I'm pretty happy with it. I like it nice and slick. Do these edges real quick. Now, the hard part. I like this part, honestly. I think it's fun trying to get that perfect donut. All right, <clears throat> so you just stick it through. All right, so what you wanna do is make sure that the hair is nice and even. And if you see the center part, you can feel where there's extra like lumps just make sure to smooth that out that way when you do your bun it's nice and even all around that way the hair is evenly distributed and you and if you need another like if you can't tell just by the touch have someone look at the bun to see if it's nice and covered So that feels pretty good to me. 
I'm not worried about this little gap right here because you will see why. As you pull, pull the hair, that way it closes the gap. See? There you go. Okay guys, so after you do the second, um, second hairband, go ahead and just even out the hair just a little bit more because when you do that, it kind of makes the flyaways come up. And if you need more hairspray, go ahead and put more hairspray or gel, whatever you want to use. Just make sure it's nice and slicked back. All right, so what to do with this extra hair? I used to have really long hair. It used to go, this extra piece was like out to here. But I cut my hair when I first got to this base. And um, so that's why I use this hairband. That way, when um, I wrap this around the bun, there's no flyaways or anything like that. Because the last thing that I want is some some person or some airman to say that my hair is out of regulation when it's not. Or, you know, have them correct me. Because, you know, no one likes to correct anyone. Well... I shouldn't say that. Some people love to correct people, but I don't want to be corrected on, you know, something simple like your hair, you know? So I usually like to braid it, that way it's easier. And then just wrap it around like so. And this is when you put the bobby pins or anything like that to hold your hair in place but I, I like to use the hairband I make sure that you know it's covering everything hold it bring this over And if you have little baby hairs here, spray it, gel it like no tomorrow. And just for a good measure, take the brush. And there you have it. How to look like a naked mole rat. Just kidding, but a military bun. <laughs>